Well, Jerry Tarkanian, the legendary UNLV coach, died a week and a half ago at the age of 84. But there is much you don't know about him. Good morning, Las Vegas anchor Beth Fisher had the great honor of sitting down with his wife today to talk about the man behind the towel. The mailbox outside the Tarkanian home says it all. Basketball is what Jerry was known for. But inside the house, the walls are lined with pictures of his greatest love, his family. Here's when Jerry was selected Father of the Year in Riverside County. Wow. Married nearly 60 years, Lois Tarkanian gave me unprecedented access to her family home. What's the last week been like for your family? It's been very hard. He fought so hard and he tried so hard. And we tried to with him. But you know, you have to know it's time and it was time, I guess. But it was very hard. You know, he, he was in pain. And um, he just hated to see him in pain. Jerry Tarkanian leaves behind four children and 11 grandkids. All of them still live in Las Vegas. Two of them bought houses close by. What would Jerry say is his legacy? Would he say it's basketball or would he say it's all of you? I think he would say it was all of us. I do think family came first. I do think so. Um, and basketball was a close second. But you cannot deny basketball was a huge part of family life. Though Lois didn't follow the game much before she and Jerry met at Fresno State, she quickly fell under Tark's spell and, like all of us, hung on every game. Sure you're watching a game here? Oh, yes, I'm watching a game and we're behind. Oh. <laughs> so I'm chewing my lip and look at my daughter. She's not too happy either. You needed a towel. I needed a towel. Through the years, Lois cut out every single newspaper article written about Jerry's career and saved it. This massive pile of albums, not even a quarter of the collection. Of all the belongings, this is the thing that I want for my kids. This, this, this would mean a lot to them. Son Danny says mom included all of it, even the nasty articles written when the NCAA was investigating him. And years later, it still stings. After all of these years, you still want to defend your husband. Of course. But you know, you don't need to. This city loves him. I know. I know. But you're right. But you know, I guess maybe it's because the hurt that he felt lasted all the time. I mean, if he were here right now and we were talking, he'd talk to you something about that. And he would tell you he never bought a player, though the NCAA never let up, investigating and Lois says harassing him his entire career. Still, that's not what fans remember. I have a Review Journal newspaper clip of my husband in the front row screaming for oh. your husband. How nice. How nice. I think that's the kind of just passion and enthusiasm your husband managed to muster in this city. Well, I'll tell you, it was electric. It was electric during those uh, last 10 years. Uh, the whole town was meshed together. It was one. And that's why this past week, the Las Vegas Strip dimmed the lights in honor of the coaching legend. Lois says he never would have believed it. He would have been very pleased and very proud, and he would have given that smile. He had one of the sweetest smiles of anybody, and he'd give that smile, and he would have just enjoyed the whole thing. Beth Fisher, Channel 13 Action News. Well, you can honor, honor Coach Tarkanian one week from today. A public celebration of his life will take place at the Thomas & Mack Center starting at 2 p.m. That's on March 1st.